welcome to Learning to Play Klezmer. And um, we've talked about a lot of ornaments so far in this series. Today we're going to talk about bending notes and sliding between notes. Certainly um, these slides are, are a very um, essential component to um, almost all forms of ethnic music and certainly in Jewish music it's, it's, it's just an organic part of it. Uh, the word in Italian is glissandi, glissando. I don't know what the Yiddish word is, but we're going to bend notes and slide between notes. So the first thing we can try is sliding between E and G. Let's break it down. I'm sliding my fingers off. So practice for sliding your fingers off. If sliding E to G is too hard, initially you can slide between E and F, and then F to G, and then E to G. But getting a really good slide is more than just um, sliding your fingers. You have to engage your throat. And I think, I think what I do, it's hard to know because you can't see inside people's throats, but I think what I do is um, I bring the corners of my mouth together and I um, close my throat and I bring my tongue close to the reed while I'm dropping the pitch. Now, some people can drop the pitch really, really, really far, a half step, whole step. And, um, but for our purposes here, we just want to keep it simple and easy. So just bend the pitch a little bit, if you can, by engaging your throat in this manner. And then while you're doing that, simultaneously slide your fingers. Um, Let's try sliding E to G sharp. Let's try sliding E to B. Now, some people can really, um, you know, you can get a really, really funky sound with the slide, and that's good. That's good. You want that. You sort of want the sound between the sound. Um, Let's see how it fits into this melody that we've been working with, with this klezmer tune. So uh, the mel this part of the melody starts on the note E, and it slides to G sharp, and then it slides to B. So it goes like this. Let's do it slowly. Do it slowly with me. One, two, three. Let's try it again a little faster. One, two. Now I've heard it said um, that in klezmer music you should never ever slide up. I'm not sure that's totally true because in, if you listen to these old recordings by Naftuli Brandwine and Dave Terrace, they do slide up sometimes, certainly in this recording. Brandwine does. So, but you just have to do it judiciously and do it when it's appropriate. Otherwise, it can sound like it's making the music sound very silly, like it's making fun of the music or something. Um, but, um, but the more you listen, the more you'll hear what really fits and what works. Okay, so I hope this helps you incorporate slides and bends into your klezmer playing. Use it in your doina, use it in melodies, use it, um, use it as much as you can and let it be yet another way to express yourself musically.